What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Weekly Ranking Show, where we have a look at all the players that have risen up the ranks and that have dropped down the ranks in the week. We're going to start with the top 10 for the men. So not too much has changed in the rankings for the men. Djokovic is still at number one. We still have Medvedev at number two. Rafa Nadal number three. Dominic Team at number four. City Pass is still at number five. But Alexander Zverev, he has gone up one spot, overtaking Federer to take number six. Federer drops down number seven after losing a lot of points from skipping the Miami Open where he was the defending champion. So he's down at number seven now. We have Rublev at number eight. Schwartzman at number nine. Berrettini still hanging in there at number 10. Some of the biggest movers of the week we have. Hubert Hurkacz, of course, the Miami champion. He went up 21 spots to a career high number 16 in the world. First time in the top 20 for him. Also, Yannick Sinner, he's gone up eight spots to a career high number 23 in the world. So both a finalist of Miami rising up the rankings. And also Sebastian Corder, after a quarterfinal appearance in Miami, he's gone up 22 spots to number 65 in the world. Some of the players that have fallen down the rankings, we have John Isner. He's gone down 10 spots to number 38. Of course, made the final of Miami two years ago and didn't defend that. And also, OJ Ali Asim, he dropped down four spots to number 22. So he drops out of the top 20, again, after not backing up the semi-final that he made in the 2019 Miami Open. All right, taking a look at the women's top 10 now, we have Ash Barty. She holds on to the number one spot this week after defending her title in Miami. Naomi Osaka, she stays at number two. Simona Halep is at number three, even though she withdrew from the Miami Open. She stays there. Sophia Kennan, still at number four. Svetlina stays at number five. Karolina Pleskova, she drops three Three spots down to number nine after not being able to defend the final that she made in Miami in 2019. So that's why she's dropped so low. Serena Williams, she goes down to number eight. So she drops one spot. Also, Sabalenka, she goes up to number seven in the world after a good week at the Miami Open. Bianca Andreescu, she goes up three spots and takes the number six spot after making the final of Miami. And Kiki Burton, she jumps back into the top ten, taking Kvitova's spot. All right, some of the biggest ranking jumps this week. We have Maria Sakari. She's at a career high top 20 ranking for the first time. She went up six spots to number 19 after making the semifinals, of course, in Miami. And also Tormo has jumped into the top 50 for the first time after a solid couple of weeks, going up 10 spots to number 48 in the world. And some of the biggest drops in the WTA, we have Wong. She's dropped down to number 50 in the world, dropping 12 spots after a poor performance at the Miami Open and not being able to back up the quarterfinal she made a couple of years ago. And also Venus Williams, she drops down 11 spots to number 90 in the world. Again, after a poor performance at the Miami Open, not being able to back up her fourth round appearance two years Years ago. So there you have it, the rankings for the week. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you surprised by any of these rankings? Are you surprised that some players have risen as high as they have? Or some players that have dropped as low as they have? I'm surprised by Venus Williams, to be honest, dropping down to number 90 in the world. It's going to be hard for her to come back at age 40, coming back from 90 in the world and dropping down every single week, it seems. And also, her catch. Are you excited to see him in the top 20? How's he going to do for the rest of the year? Let me know down in the comments below. So the weekly rankings, we've got some new top 20 players and some changes in the top 10.